to the Gulf of Mexico, and I'll continue breaking that down for you in just a minute. But I wanted to show you Tuscaloosa first because there is a storm rolling in to downtown Tuscaloosa as we speak. Those temperatures have dropped to 74 degrees, and we've already seen about a quarter of an inch of rain produced from this rainmaker. Here's where it is on our storm team radar from Fayette all the way down to Tuscaloosa. A lot of heavy rainfall there. Most of the rain is now pushed east of Highway 82. Lighter rain from Gordo over towards Reform and Carrollton. But it's the thunderstorms that are now beginning to move through northern Tuscaloosa County. There's downtown Tuscaloosa, Northport. You're getting it right now. And this is all the way up towards Carrollwood. So just keep that in mind. We're tracking another little pocket of rain from Brilliant down towards Guin there in the eastern part of Marion County. And we are going to track some isolated showers and storms developing. You can kind of see the swirl in the atmosphere, an area of low pressure helping to develop some of these late day showers and storms. So something for us to monitor. There's severe thunderstorm warnings down. To our south. I don't think that we have the dynamics in place for these storms to trend severe, but I am going to keep rain in your forecast for at least the next six to eight hours. Notice by 10 o'clock tonight, that pulse of energy moves into Chilton County up through Alexander City. We could be dealing with rain even after midnight. Remember last night, there were some showers after midnight, even through early morning. We could see a near repeat performance. So I'm not ruling out an occasional morning shower tomorrow. Let's talk future cast temperatures as we move into our Saturday. Starting out the day in the upper 60s to our north, low 70s from Birmingham to Alabaster. By afternoon, a scattered shower or storm is possible. Mid 80s for a high tomorrow. Make it a little bit of relief from the heat. And then Saturday by 9 o'clock, the rain pretty much fizzles out. Turning a bit drier on Sunday, temperatures in the upper 60s. It's going to be a very pleasant start to your Sunday and a, just a stray shower to Sunday afternoon. I'm going to bring the coverage of rain down to about 30%. As we round out the weekend, here's the tropic two systems. We've got 14 and we've got tropical storm Laura, both taking aim on the Gulf of Mexico. As we move into Monday, one will be entering, that would be Laura, entering the Gulf, while what will become Marco will be heading towards Houston. So it actually looks like the western's most storm is really going to head towards Texas. I think limited impact for Alabama. It's the eastern storm, Laura, that we're really watching closely because as it emerges into the Gulf, it could become a Category 1 hurricane by Tuesday and then moves into New Orleans by Wednesday with Alabama being on the eastern side of the system. It could be a bit on the rainier side. So I've bumped up rain chances for our Wednesday and Thursday next week because I think that's